الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we are continuing our uh, series of tafsir ibn kathir uh, showing you uh, the manhaj of uh, uh, Allama ibn kathir رحمه الله uh, and his uh, stance and position regarding the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we, go, we are going through different verses in his tafsir and the purpose of showing you uh, multiple verses is to show you that we are not cherry picking is to show you a continuous um, pattern uh, that you will see throughout his tafsir you know unlike Salafis what they will do is show you one or two verses here and there and take it out of context. So the purpose is to show you a continuous pattern to show you this is not one or two cherry picked, you know, verses or statements of the, uh, Ibn uh, Kathir rahimahullah. Okay, so this is Surat Al-Ma'idah verse uh, 64. And uh, that's the book there. <coughs> he's, uh, under this verse, he's commentating uh, the verse is وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولًا غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَلُعِنُوا بِمَا قَالُوا بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبَسُوطَتَانِ يُنْفِقُ كَيْفَ يَشَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes the Yahud, the Jews, that the Jews will say يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولًا that the hands of Allah are tied مَغْلُولًا Now, do we take the literal meaning? Do we say that Allah, you know, they meant that Allah has literal hands and these hands are tied together. No. Look at Abdullah, look at uh, Tafsir ibn Kathir and he narrates with a sanad, with a chain of narration. Qala ibn Abi Hatim, Haddathana Abdullah, Qala uh, uh, Haddathana Abu Abdullah al Taharani, Haddathana Hafs ibn Umar al Adani, Haddathana al Hakum ibn Aban an Akirimada, Qala, Qala ibn Abbas, Maghlula, ay Bakhila. What does Maghlula mean, tied? It doesn't, you don't take the literal meaning. It means stingy, bakhila. They meant by Allah's hands are tied, i.e. Allah is stingy, astaghfirullah. This is what they meant. Then, so you can see from here that the Salafi stunts, nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be seen. And he is narrating this from who? Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala. So even the companions, they were not on your Position, your position is totally away from the companions. Ridwanullah alayhim ajma'in. But it doesn't stop here because the verse carries on. Now I had explained last time here what is Abdullah ibn Abbas doing here. He is doing what you call ta'wil. And I explained in my last video, ta'wil is a form of tafweed because tafweed, the purpose and objective of tafweed, is to take the reader's mind away from the literal meaning which doesn't befit the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take it away from there. So similarly, ta'wil does exactly the same thing, that you are not taking the literal meaning, rather you give it an appropriate meaning, which can be uh, used in Arabic, and you take the mind of the reader away from the literal meaning, which doesn't befit the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's exactly what they're doing here. Now, look, it carry, the verse carries on, he says, بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبَسُوطَتَانَ That rather his hands are spread out. Now what does it mean by his hands are spread out? Look what Ibn Kathir says. Ibn Kathir, he says, وَقَالِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولًا لَا يَعْنُونَ بِذَلِكَ أَنَّ يَدَ اللَّهِ مُوَثَّقَةٌ So it, the, uh, the hands being tied, He's clearly refuting the literal meaning. He's saying the hands being tied does not mean muwathaka that they are tied up like this. So he's actually refuting your position of taking it literally. This is what you need to understand, my brothers. He's literally refuting you, your position. He's refuting it. You can't take that. Walakin yaqulun bakhilun. Rather, he's saying, look, what are they trying to say? They're trying to say that Allah, na'udhu billah, he is stingy. Amsaka ma'indahu, ta'ala Allah, ta'ala Allah an qawlihim uluwan kabira. They're trying to say he is restraining with him. He's keeping with him what he has and he's not giving it to people by saying that his hands are tied. And then he says, ta'ala Allah an qawlihim uluwan kabira. Allah is far above and he is pure and he is 
exonerated from what they are. Uh, he is free from what they are saying and accusing him of. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the verse carries on. It doesn't stop there. Allah says, بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبُسُوطَتَانِ Rather, the hands of Allah are spread out. Now, what does, if you take the literal meaning, the hands of Allah are spread out. What does that mean? His hands are like this. His hands are spread out. That's the literal meaning. But, look what Ibn Kathir says. بَلْ يَهْدَاهُ مَبُسُوطَتَانِ يُنْفِقُ كَيْفَ يَشَاءَ أي بَلْ هُوَ الْوَاسِعُ الْفَضْلِ He's not taking the literal meaning. He's saying, rather, he is, his, uh, his bounty is extremely, extremely great. And الْجَزِيلُ الْعَطَاءِ He is, his giving is tremendous. الَّذِي مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا عِنْدَهُ خَزَائِنُهُ And Allah is the one with whom the treasures of everything are with. This is what his hands being far apart spread out. This is what it means. So he hasn't taken the literal meaning. Rather he has done ta'wil of it. I.e. taken the reader's mind away from the literal meaning of hands and hands being spread out. He's taken the their minds away to something else. Now, like I said in my previous videos, he hasn't taken the literal meaning, rather refuted the literal meaning. So where are you and where is Ibn Kathir rahimahullah, such a great commentator of the Quran? Where are you and where is he? He's left you far behind, my brothers, you Salafis, you Mushabiha. You're nowhere upon the way of the Salaf or even the Khalaf. Nobody, nobody. You're a totally different group altogether. This is why we say you are Mubtadi'ah. You are upon deviance and you really, really need to sort yourself out and study what the scholars of this Ummah have been saying regarding the attributes of Allah. So in one verse, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولًا غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَلُعِنُوا بِمَا قَالُوا بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبَسُوطَتَانِ يُنْفِقُ كَيْفَ يَشَاءَ In one verse, two places, he has refuted you and he has clearly shown us you do not take the literal meaning. Rather, he has done ta'wil and ta'wil is a form of tafweed like I explained. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand and to study this, these issues with a open and fair mind wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin jazakumullah for listening